Hello beautiful people, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I think I mentioned on my Instagram, I need inspiration for autumn and winter because for me, a lot of bloggers seem to say that autumn and specifically winter is their favorite seasons for fashion. Coats, jumpers, boots, Apart from that, what else can you really wear? I'm a summer child, I like the summer, I like to feel the warmth of the sun in my face, tanning me. Yes, I'm dark skinned but I do get darker in summer which I love. Winter to me is just very dull. And also, unless you live in somewhere like Scandinavia, you know, where it snows and it's beautiful and white during winter, you can go skiing. In England, there isn't much to do in winter, like it's cold, it's rainy and even when it does snow in England, we can't take the snow and it's literally just stay in your house. So, I personally don't understand when bloggers say that autumn and winter is their favourite but I digress. I say all of that to say that historically, autumn and winter are the seasons where I am the most inconsistent. So I need some inspiration and some energy and zhuzh to make sure that I'm consistent throughout this autumn and winter 20. I got this idea from Freddie My Love here on YouTube. So they usually do what they call an autumn or winter edit, where they do an entire week doing hauls every day from different brands that they love. And I thought that's a really good way of number one, myself seeing what's out there. Number two, showing you guys what's out there in the stores. Now, obviously, Obviously, common sense will tell you I'm not gonna keep all these items but especially now where even when you go to the high street you can't try things on it's literally order as much stuff as you can to your house try them all on see what fits see what you like see what you can style and then anything that you don't want just return back which is essentially what I will be doing this week and I'm kicking it off with one of my favorite brands Zara I mean I wasn't gonna do a whole week without doing a Zara haul so the first thing I got is this turtleneck ribbed bodycon midi dress number one I love the color a lot of the things that I got today are neutrals. I think only two things have colour in them, which is crazy for me because if you're a long-term watcher of my channel, you know that I love colour. I live in colour. Orange, yellow, red, those are my favourite colours. But another reason for me doing this whole week is I really want to build up the neutrals and the basics, winter basics specifically, in my wardrobe. And this, I think it's a nice basic that I'll be able to layer, but it's also very versatile. Like, you can use it if you're going out with your friends, you can also use it on date night, and then you can layer it up with a jumper or coat or whatever, and I think it will look really nice with some boots and I could wear this in summer well maybe not summer but I could definitely wear it in spring because it doesn't have any sleeves meaning that you know it will still be quite airy the color really really complements my skin and it is a perfect length I really like midi length when it comes to this ribbed material Zara really does know how to do it very very well sticking with the turtleneck theme I actually got two turtleneck um I guess you could call these jumpers I would call them shirts because they're quite thin to be a jumper but they are in that sort of cardigan jumper material so I got one in black and I also got one in white and these two are two basics that I think I'll be able to wear a lot I'm also going to do a video on my winter capsule wardrobe and these are two things I'm definitely going to include in that video because I think these are two things that you need in your capsule wardrobe you can dress them up with so many things leather skirts jeans leather pants whatever you want to you can dress them up dress them down and i like the fact that they're not full sleeve they're um quarter sleeve i don't know like when it comes to turtlenecks i just feel very restricted because one they're covering my neck so i really don't like when they're full sleeve so this was perfect for me and i haven't seen a lot of different brands do the quarter sleeve ones and also this is very soft very 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 soft and also the turtleneck is not too restrictive I don't feel like I'm being suffocated which is why I really like these two I've picked up another turtleneck from ASOS that you might see I haven't actually done the schedule while filming this video but whenever it says I'm gonna do the ASOS haul you're gonna see an ASOS so I'm gonna pick between that one and this one because that one is white as well I got this really big oversized I don't know if it's a coat this is more I would say a very thick shirt like oversized shirt because it doesn't feel like a coat to me but I feel like on the viewfinder it is sort of looking like a coat but it's not a coat so this is from Zara's um 50% recycled wool and 25% recycled polyester the, oh my god this was eight pounds I didn't know this was eight pounds oh oh okay oh the reason why I'm saying all is because black is not a staple in my wardrobe. Like I said, I like colour. And I think for me, I think neutrals, camels, beiges, those type of neutral colours work best with me. Black is just something I've never gravitated to. I just think it looks very, very basic. I know there are some people that can pull off black and make it look amazing. Make it look like the best colour in the world. 
I unfortunately am not one of those people or it might just be in my head anyway that's why I'm like oh do I really want to spend 80 pounds on a black oversized thick shirt but anyway this is what it looks like this I want to use as more overall so like you know the um camel or beige rib knit dress that I just showed you I think that this see even with that I would pair that with a white one not a black one but it might look nice with a black one but this I'm gonna style it with this black one but yeah it's very very thick like this will keep you warm specifically for autumn this is gonna be really really good one thing I love about this is the stitching this is just a tip when you're looking at things on the high street look for things that have really good stitching because what I found is those sorts of items will last you for a long period of time it also has balloon sleeves as well and yeah I'm just gonna see I have to think about this one because like I said black not really me but I do need more black in my wardrobe. We'll see. Next up, I got a cord set. Zara is killing it with the cord. Depending on when this video comes out, I've actually just posted on my Instagram a reel, a fashion reel, and it's like cords that you need for autumn winter. And two of the cords in there are actually two of the cords I'm gonna show you here. But Zara is killing it with the cord. So I got this one. So it is this midi skirt, first of all, and um, ribbed material. I got this in a size medium because I couldn't see a size small anywhere. And I actually wanted to wear this out the next day. So I got it in the medium. The medium is good, but I feel like I could have done with a small. I could have actually done with a small. And because I've already like worn it out and worn it to film, I'm not gonna return it. I'm just gonna live with the medium, but I do wish I got a small. And I've realized that Zara do sometimes, they seem to be restocking. Zara items are like H&M. They go out of stock really quick, but they do restock. I think Zara restocks a lot better than H&M. Really, really nice. Gives you that sort of hourglass figure. Very, very lovely. Not too thick. So this is actually something I could wear in summer as well. To be fair, this whole cord is something I could wear in summer, which is also what I'm looking for for summer white winter pieces. I don't just want to buy winter pieces just for winter, even though they are winter pieces. I want to be able to, for the majority of them, I do want to be able to wear them at least in spring. So this is the top. This I love. If you're part of the itty bitty committee, you can actually wear this unbutton all of this and just keep like maybe these two buttons or one button you can do that i am a part of the big and busty so i'm not able to do that but if i had smaller boobs that is how i would have wanted to style it but this cord set is very very cute and very very me these are the type of neutral colors i like something that i could layer this is also something i could pop on the um black overall shirt with i feel like this would look really really nice with a brown leather coat oh i think that would look really nice but yeah very very comfortable fits me very well accentuates the hourglass figure and i definitely recommend picking this up i think this is something that might sell out quite quickly as well sticking with the cold theme i have another cold now this oh this gives me rich auntie vibe or rich mama vibe just rich and living my best life vibes in autumn and winter i don't know what to call it it's um a wraparound overall one thing i like about the top is you can actually wear it as just a top or you can also wear it as a jumper i got this in a size large but it's actually a bit too large for me so i'm giving this one to my mum, and i'm going to reorder it in a size medium and i'm doing that to be a lovely daughter but i'm also doing that because depending on how i feel i can either do the oversized look with the large or i can use the medium when we the trousers are the one thing i'm umming and ahhing about because the trousers they remind me of i had this orange cord set i bought from zara i think about a year ago or something like that beautiful this is the same material i got these in a small and they fit because it's really super stretchy they fit but they're just a bit snug so i'm thinking i might do better with a medium i couldn't i bought this in store and i couldn't find a medium but i might look online and see if i can find a medium a beautiful beautiful cord i love the color i like the fact that it has these um pockets at the top and the buttons just give it that extra luxe feel this is a bit of me and then the last pieces i got didn't arrive in time i don't have them with me here right now but i'm gonna speak about them and you guys will see them in the try on cutaway so the first is this velvet skirt and oh this velvet skirt it has this fringe detailing it reminds me of the other wrap fringe detailing skirt i got from zara the um but orange one that it's more for summer but you can dress it up for winter as well perfect that now i have this velvet one because this velvet one is definitely for winter i would love to pair it with like a silk or satin white shirt i can i can i can see the vision in my head right now speaking of satin shirt so i got this white satin shirt as well from zara i'm omen and ring because i also bought another white satin shirt from asos and one from and other stories so i'm gonna see between the three which one i like and which one i want to keep but the one from zara is very very nice very very nice and like i said paired with the velvet skirt and the one from zara i think was the cheapest one out of the three
So those are all the items that I got. Like I said, this entire week I'm doing an autumn winter edit. So make sure you tune in tomorrow as well to see what is in store. Also make sure you have your post notifications turned on for me as well so you never miss an upload. And if you like this video, I think you might like this video or possibly this video here. Click on one of those and let me continue to entertain you. I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon or whatever time you watch this video and I'll see you all in my next video.